Welcome to another session of Web Speed by Sand Dollar Digital Design, a series of videos designed to teach you how to use Web Speed to manage your website and the contents of your website. My name is David Bailey. My wife and I, my wife Jennifer and I, both have uh, our, our own and have created Web Speed over the past uh, about 17 years, a little short of that. And we've uh, worked very hard to create a system that is extremely easy to use. Uh, but also one that will do the special things that we want to do. In this video, I want to just cover very shortly about how uh, a little bit of uh, web speed is organized. We're going to talk about the uh, start and your profile tabs in another video, but uh, I want to cover some of the other tabs that you're going to see between those two. Every page of your site, and in this case we're looking at Tigger Travels, um, but every page of your site will have a tab in here. And various tabs do various different things, but you'll notice as I'm clicking through here, notice that every single one of these has instructions and page details. Now, everybody may not have access to the page details. That will depend on your account level of access to web speed. Uh, there, there are varying ranges that you're going to see here. And uh, if uh, you see something on this video that uh, you do not see in your own account, it uh, doesn't mean it's broken. It may just mean you don't have that feature. Uh, under each of these tabs, though, everyone will see the basic instructions, which actually will be different for different levels of access. The page details uh, is only available for the higher level access. And there's a little bit of information that is, is very useful here. The page subtitle, now you'll notice on every single page we try to design um, the name of the site as the top line down here in this content and in this particular design the content starts right here. In different designs it's a little different but in this particular site this is the area I'm looking at. And um, we found that as far as search engines are concerned, it's good to have the company name here in a little bit larger text, and then you can have a little bit more detail about what this particular page is. That line is actually right here under page subtitle. What you type in here is going to appear right under the site title on every page of your site, or should unless something special has been done. One thing to realize about web speed is it is extremely versatile. There are things that we can do. There are things that are not even in the, in the manual. Uh, so if you want to try something different, please don't be afraid to ask. We love to hear different ideas uh, because I have personally written, wrote the program for this over nearly two decades. I love to get ideas from the people using this. So if you want a feature in there that you don't see, ask. If it's not in there, we'll uh, seriously consider looking at how to get it in there. The button name is this right here. Now that button name is right here. When someone clicks on home, that is actually going to go to this page. Now you'll notice, we talked about in another video, how every single page in WebSuite has a link to your site. You'll notice up here on the right side, there's actually a link specifically to this particular page. So this page, the home page, is going to go to the same place. But if I go over here to, oh, this is just a random page that I've got stuck in here, and I'm really not sure why. But look at here. There's a link over here on the right side. If I click on that, it goes to that specific page in WebSpeed. And at the moment, there's really nothing in here. And we're going to play a little bit with this in another video. But you always have a link to that specific page. Now, um, oh. I see what it was now. <clears throat> so um, anyway, you'll notice that when you click on these links that it opens up here in a different tab. Now these tabs are very useful because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be working on a web page here. And then while you're working on a web page, you'll be able to go and look at the contents of that page. <laughs> So up in the right side, we see this link here that will actually take you to that specific page within your site. Now, a little bit more information, and this is not something that you really have to worry about, but I want to point it out. There's a bunch of other words here that actually mean stuff. Uh, 
And I want to point out right now, like at this uh, text and photo page, you'll see that this is a text and photo page. For anyone who is actually a uh, web person and knows how to create web pages, this is a standard HTML page. Under the Contact Us page, you'll notice that it says uh, a con it says Contact Us. This is a little bit different page, and there's some th special things we can do on that site. Under this particular photo gallery, we actually have a photo gallery page. And it tells you right in here what kind of a page it is. Depending on the types of pages we have, though, we'll determine what features are available on that particular page. Under the page details, which I've mentioned earlier that some may or may not have access to, the page details shows us a little bit more information. There's more stuff on this uh, uh, page details tab. One thing that you'll notice down here is a space for page description and keywords. And we're going to talk about those in another video when we're going to talk about website optimization because that is such a huge subject. Uh, further down here, we have an image for the top of the page and an image for the side of the page. Now, depending on the design of your site, you may or may not use either of these. You don't have to use. They'll do different things for you if you use them or if you don't use them. In this particular case, I am not on the right page. Um, oh, here it is. In this particular case, you'll notice up here in the upper right-hand corner, there is that image on the top right. Uh, some of the images appear at the bottom uh, on a few of the website designs, but uh, it does give you an option to add a little bit more images to your site. Now, specifically, we're looking at the home page. Now, generally, the home page is the exact same thing as a HTML page. And we're going to cover more, a lot more, about the HTML page in another session. But uh, under the home page, this page details does add a little bit of extra features. There are a number of modules in WebSpeed that can be turned on and off at will, as often as you want to. Uh, at the bottom here, you can turn on various little extra items, like this particular site has a photo gallery, so I can automatically make it show on the right side as it is set here. You'll notice you can check that change to the left side or right side. I could add, say, a random photo from the gallery, or I could add a latest photo from the gallery. And these can be used and moved and changed and turned on and off as much as you want to. To turn them off, we simply just say, set it to this first section where it says select section type and uh, click the change additional home page settings. Depending on what kind of pages you have in your site, you may see a lot more options in here. I know the calendar has something in here. If you have uh, officers in your contact form, that actually can show up down here. Uh, we, it's called officers mainly because the system was started as a system for uh, nonprofit organizations, but it could be called a number of different things. Um, and we'll talk about that more at another time. But the page details, you'll notice, is, is underneath every single uh, tab in WebSpeed that is for a page. Sometimes these page details will have more information, sometimes they'll have a little bit less. After the page details, you'll see on some types of pages, you'll see Manage Web Page like the home page under Contact Us. You can also see here, Manage Web Page. Photo Gallery is a little bit different. This actually gives you a lot more options uh, with page setup options, gallery uh, categories, uh, adding new records, and even editing the records that are in there. Uh, record, each, one, each record here represents a different page on the site. Now, this is where the term page becomes a little bit tricky because, yes, Contact Us and Home is an individual page, but the photo gallery is actually a whole section of this site that creates, in this particular case right now, I believe the count is to 331 more pages to the site. So that's a little bit more about the organization of web speed and what you'll find underneath each one of the tabs for the pages on your sites specifically the page details tabs, and 
we're going to spend another session going into more details about the photo gallery and about the uh, manage managing uh, oh, I'm sorry manage web page <laughs> and because those are quite sizable and unique in their own way look for you in the next video